Hi, and welcome to another Radan technical video. This month's video looks at the steps to create a special punch tool in Radan. A special tool is one that does not fall into any of the other tool categories. All the supplementary tool types can be classed as specials with the exception of the slitters and the wheel specific supplementary types. However, in certain cases, a supplementary tool type is assigned to another tool type like a rectangular forming tool. Some post processors require the information in the supplementary field to use the tool in the correct way at the machine, notably the embossing, forming, knockout, and market supplementary types. For more information on supplementary tool types, refer to the documentation for your particular post processor. Adding a special tool to the Radan tool library is identical to adding a standard tool, except you'll need to provide the special tools drawing. Special attention must be given to the tool symmetry, as this is what ultimately defines how the tool is to be used with regards to rotation. Symmetry is classified by four checkbox settings in the Add Tool dialog. Here are example shapes for reflection in the x-axis, reflection in the y-axis, 90 degree rotational symmetry, and 180 degree rotational symmetry. Tool symmetry is used throughout the system to rationalize tool angles. For example, a rectangular tool at 210 degrees can be said to be at 30 degrees as well. Once the tool is defined in the tool library, you can save the tool definition to a file. You will be prompted as to whether you want the system to create the tool symbol for you. However, unlike standard tools where the software creates the tool shape accurately, for special tools the software will only generate a cross representing the punch tool center, leaving you to produce the special tool symbol geometry. Tool symbols are saved by the software in a particular directory, typically located on a server, using the folder name Radan slash System Symbols. In order to create the tool symbol geometry, you'll need to make sure you're in the part editor. Open or import a drawing of the tool provided by the tool manufacturer, then save the symbol drawing to the previously generated symbol file. Walking through this procedure in Radan starts with adding the special tool definition using the Add Tool dialog accessed from the tool library editor. The tool number field accepts only numeric values, whereas the description field accepts alphanumeric characters. Then the tool type is set to special and the supplementary type to forming. And for a louver tool shape, symmetry is just reflective in the y-axis. Size can be set for special tools as a reference, but special tool size cannot be used to calculate station size, like with standard tools. So those values and the others will need to be defined as well. All tool definition parameters are fully described in the Radan help system, easily accessible from the help icon in the upper right corner of this dialog box. Just pick the question mark icon and pick an area within the dialog and the help system navigates to the help page containing the dialogs, definitions, and descriptions. Notice the prompt to create a drawing of the tool, just like with standard tools. However, notice the image generated for the louver tool definition is just a cross. Selecting the OK button saves the symbol definition file to the Radan System Symbols folder. To replace the cross drawing, I'll import a DXF drawing of the louver tool provided by the tool maker. It's important to define the tool center, which is easy to do with the origin button and the datum command. A little cleanup to remove the center lines from the drawing and then save the geometry to the symbol file we just saved from the Add Tool dialog. If I sort the list of tools by date, the louver symbol just saved is listed first. This symbol will require the user to find datum option when saving the symbol file to include the datum I set on the geometry. When saving to that file definition, the prompt indicates the file will be replaced, 
However, selecting yes actually merges the original tool definition with the tool drawing geometry. Back in the tool library editor, notice the louver tool displays the proper drawing now. In addition to saving the tool drawing over the tool file in the system symbols folder, like previously demonstrated, the initial special tool definition file can be opened and the auto-generated cross geometry replaced by drawing the tool geometry and deleting the cross within the part editor and then resaving the symbol file. If a tool complies with a symmetry rule, then the checkbox is selected. However, if the tool does not comply with a rule, it is essential that the symmetry rule is not selected. If tool symmetry is set incorrectly, the symbol may rotate the tool when in fact it is unnecessary in the program. You can only set these fields if you have either specified a supplementary tool type or set the primary type as special. In summary, we've seen that creating special tool definitions is the same as creating standard tools with the added steps of defining symmetry and providing a tool symbol drawing. Thanks for watching this tech video and stay tuned for more videos from the Radan Resource Newsletter and check out other Radan Tech videos in the Vero eSupport Community site.